Do you want to be in the video? Look at the camera. Okay, so embarrassing plant stories. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a follow-up video to a video I did a few months ago. It was my repotting and embarrassing plant stories. So today it's going to be repotting and embarrassing plant stories part two. And I asked on Instagram for some embarrassing plant stories. I did not get that many, sadly. So I don't know if you guys are less embarrassing than me. <laughs> Probably. It's, it's kind of a lifestyle, you know. So I, I'm just, I don't know if it, I don't know if it comes across on camera or not, but I'm extremely awkward. <laughs> it probably does, it probably does come across. Okay, so we have Bernadette in here and it's, <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure, but I know you, you guys like Bernadette. Down. Good, good. Okay. I thought we were going to be able to have a nice repot with Bernadette, but that's not going to happen. We actually repot together a lot of the time, but I think me talking kind of throws her off and gets her excited. Okay, so yeah, usually like we will repot and I'll be by my repotting mat sitting on the floor and she'll just kind of lay next to me and have her little head on my leg and it's the sweetest thing. but. I don't think it's gonna work with me talking also. I think it just gets her too riled up. I'm just really awkward is the, is the thing. So if you've ever had the misfortune of meeting me in person, I'm so sorry. I'm sure I said something weird. I like, I'm just a lot more comfortable talking to a camera than I am to people. Camera good, <laughs> people bad. That's what I was trying to explain to my husband the other day. I don't know. Cause it's just like I'm talking to myself, which I do all day long anyway. So also I had the idea last night in the middle of the night that I could put googly eyes on my camera and it might help me with my eye contact thing because I can't, I can't make eye contact with people and have a conversation at the same time. I just, I can't do it. I feel threatened. I can't focus. I can't, it's just not something that I can do and that's okay. It doesn't make me a bad person or less of a person. It just is what it is. And I know I am far from the only person who is like that. So anyway, we got off the rails. We're gonna, we're gonna get the train back on the tracks now, hopefully. Embarrassing plant stories. So a couple of weeks ago, I asked on Instagram if anybody had any embarrassing plant stories and I think you guys might be less embarrassing than me. So take a moment and give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> um, not that it's really a big accomplishment <laughs> because I'm the most embarrassing person on the face of the earth more than likely, <laughs> but that's okay. I've learned to laugh at myself. We can all laugh at my pain. Somebody's, there has to be some good come of this, right? I don't know. So anyway, I didn't get a lot. I got a couple though. And thank you so much. If you have let me share your embarrassing plant story. Um, I am going to add some of my own in here also, because even since that video, I've embarrassed myself a couple more times. All right, so the first embarrassing plant story, I've definitely alluded to it. Okay, the first plant I'm gonna repot, oh gosh, this dang runner. Oh, that's a runner to a different plant. You see how bad I need to repot my plants. Okay, so the first embarrassing plant story, I have definitely alluded to this one in my philodendron collection video. So in that video, I said I was introducing my philodendron Burl Marks fantasy. And I said on the screen, be careful Googling. <laughs> 
So that is actually something I learned the hard way. <laughs> I, I had gotten a small philodendron Burl Marks Fantasy and I wanted to see what it would look like when it got bigger. So I just busted out my phone and I typed in Burl Marks Fantasy Mature. <laughs> I should have known, like I should have known not to type the word mature into Google. So Google said to me, are you sure? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, Google, I want to know what it's going to look like when it gets bigger. And so I clicked on images, of course, and then all the images are blurred out. I'm like, what the heck? Why? Why wouldn't it show me what this plant is going to look like? It did not cross my mind <laughs> what I could possibly be searching for on here. Probably just don't type in the word mature to an internet search is probably your best bet. I'm just one of those people like my mind does not ever go there. I don't my mind does not go to the gutter very quickly. It's just it's how I am. So I was like, why would this why would this be doing that? So I clicked on one of the images and it was like blurred out and it's like, are you sure this may be sensitive content? Instantly my brain was like, oh, we gotta go. We've gotta click off of here. So just, just be careful with your Google searches. It's all I'm saying. There's some weird people out there who Google some weird things apparently. I don't know. So yeah, I did eventually change the search to add the word philodendron in so it didn't like think I was into some really weird stuff um yeah so just just be careful with your google searches okay here's my amedrium zip uh zip zipilanium zipilanium I'm not sure how to pronounce some of these the next one is from my friend Brianna and thank you so much for letting me use your story because it's hilarious. Um, okay and I'm gonna be repotting these two homolomina. Okay so my friend Brianna recently and we've been friends since we were in high school like we were in high school together and we have been friends ever since we were each other's maid of honors at our weddings. So very long time friendship. So she recently got oh, into plants. So I sent her some plants to kind of get her going. And she recently moved into a new house and they were having some work done to it. Like a plumber was coming over and she had a golden pothos that I gave her. Um, I think she said it was like in the bathroom. So they were having a plumber come over and you know how it is when you're moving and just things get kind of frantic. So the plumber's on the way and she was like, oh gosh, the house smells weird. I, I better light every candle in the house so that it smells nice for the plumber. So she ran around, lit all the candles, and a, a few minutes later, started smelling something pretty weird. And she didn't know if it was like, what, what is this? Like, is the candle bad or something? Well, it turns out, in the frenzy of lighting all the candles, she had caught a golden pothos on fire <laughs> with the candle. So, but everything was okay. Like she put out the fire. I think as far as I know, the plant is still alive and nothing bad happened. So <laughs> I thought that was really funny though. And thank you so much for letting me share your story also. And we're gonna just like filter mine in here because there's so many embarrassing plant stories. And it's also like easier for me to recount my own stories because I was like there. So they're probably more entertaining 
to listen to just because I'm able to tell my own stories a little bit more accurately, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next one, I, I've said this before, but I used to work in interior design and it was commercial interior design that I worked in. And can you see this one? Okay, you can see it. We were going to a product event for like an office furniture company. And they were like, I think they were maybe showing their office renovation for the first time to the public. So it was like an open house and they had, and they had like furniture manufacturers there. So I'm there with my coworkers. We're getting a tour of this office and it's such a cool office. Like there's all this cool furniture and it's like a big open space and it's just like sun filled there's so many windows so they had a lot of plants in there so we're going through this office and the girl giving us the tour is like talking about the furniture and i see this plant and it's a calathea and i mean you know how calatheas are so i just like I zeroed in on this plant and it had like the worst case of spider mites the world has ever seen and I just couldn't think of anything else as I was looking at it so I interrupted the presentation and I was like oh that plant has spider mites like real bad and she was like oh okay <laughs> like What's wrong with you? Why wouldn't you wait till I was finished with my presentation? And yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good question. I don't know. I just didn't really, I couldn't control myself in the moment apparently. So then like it was beyond saving, like this plant was done for. So I was just like, Hey, you know what? I'll go, I'll go get you another one. I think this one's beyond saving. I'll go ahead and toss it before it spreads to your other plants and just wash out that pot. And I'll bring you another one next week. But I think they ended up like replacing it. There was a plant vendor there. And I think he ended up like replacing the plant if I remember correctly. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but anyway, so the next one is actually pretty similar to that story. And This was from Instagram and for some reason I should have I should have prepared for this and understood that this would happen, but I can no longer see the responses that I got to my story question. I should have taken a picture of them. I should have known to do that, but I can't see them anymore. It won't let me pull them up. So even in like the messages, it just won't show anything. It says that someone responded to my story but I can't pull it up. So I am really sorry. I, I hope I do this justice and thank you so much for sharing. Next time I'm gonna take a picture. Um, this person said, and oh my gosh, I can, re I can relate to this like you have no idea, clearly, based on the last story. Um, this person said the first time that they met their partner's friends, they spent the entire evening <laughs> telling them how important it is to keep their plants clean because I guess they must have been like really dusty plants and I mean you guys know that's not that's not how to that's not how you do things so this person gave them a lecture and told them what they needed to know to keep their plants in optimal health and yeah it's probably it's probably good that you did. Like you've got to step in when you see somebody mistreating a plant. There's no plant protective services. So we've got to be plant protective services on our own. <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, the last one is my mom's <laughs> and this one really cracked me up. Um, so I think I actually recently put out, oh, here's the plant I'm repotting. 
This is my Skindapsis Pictus Exotica and it's kind of scraggly so I got another one to add into the pot. And I really think I was giving this guy too much light so it's getting kind of bleached. But yeah. So this is my mom's embarrassing plant story. So thank you so much for sharing mom. And you guys know she's a plant lady and she's been a plant lady like most of my life. I think before I was born even she was into plants. Like she told me that she was like the plant rehab lady at her at like her jobs and with her friends. Like if somebody had a plant they were struggling with they give it to her to save it. So she had this African violet pot that was that she had when she was like really into plants probably when I was a kid or maybe before I was a person. I don't know. So she had this African violet pot and I had given her an African violet not too long ago and she really wanted to put it in this cool pot that she knew she had from back in the day. So she went on a hunt for this pot and left no stone unturned. So she cleaned out the garage, the basement, every closet in sight and just went on a hunt for like months at a time and never found it. So she was pretty disappointed but just, you know, kind of accepted like, all right, I guess I must have given it to Goodwill. Maybe I broke it at some point. Who knows? It's not mine anymore, but still like when that happens, like it's kind of disappointing. So then she said she was sitting at the kitchen island eating breakfast one day when she looked on top of her cabinets in the kitchen and found the African violet pot with a fake ivy in it. So she did find the pot and I'll see if I can insert a picture of the pot because it's really cool. Oh, forgot to talk. Okay, so then the last one is, oh my gosh, this is probably the most relatable. I'm pretty sure we've all been there. And um, it was, dang it. Okay, yeah, I think they'll be all right. And like I said, I can't see the responses anymore and I should have, I should have seen that coming. So thank you for sharing. I don't remember who shared this, but thank you. So, and this was like, somebody went to the store or the nursery, plant store, wherever, for copper fungicide because it was necessary and came back from the store with three plants and no copper fungicide. We've all been there, right? <laughs> That's how you know you're a plant person when like you need some plant supplies, but then you go and like there's plants there. So it's kind of, it's kind of distracting. Oh, this pot's probably not big enough. Yeah, I've definitely been there. <laughs> Also, like this is another testament to my embarrassing ways. Like I sometimes meet people locally when they buy plants from me and I'm so awkward in person. So I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> the example I'm thinking of is I was visiting my parents and I met somebody in a nearby town who had bought a plant from me on my Etsy shop. So I gave her the plant and she was like, oh my gosh, thank you. And she was so nice. And then she said, have a nice visit. Cause I had said, oh, I'm coming through town. I'm visiting my family. So she knew I was visiting my family. So she said, have a nice visit. So I obviously said, you too. <laughs> I. 
like I should just stop saying you too whenever someone says anything because a lot of the time it's not like it's not really a situation where you say you too like every time I go to a restaurant and I do mean every time and the server's like enjoy your meal I'm always like you too <laughs> and I hear myself saying it and I can't stop or like just every time I've met someone in person, I say something weird and I, I don't know. Sometimes it's gibberish. Sometimes it's like really weird. Like, why would you say that, Michaela? But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, here I've finished, oh, I've finished repotting this here plant and yeah, that is all for the embarrassing stories for now. I'm sure I'll embarrass myself again in the future and that's fine. <laughs> so if you have any embarrassing plant stories, I will screenshot them next time. If you share them with me, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, and you don't have to like if I know not everyone is as comfortable with being embarrassed as I am, but I have no choice, you know? So, um, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got a good laugh out of it. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and follow me on Instagram at Queen City Tropicals. And I will see you again soon. <laughs> just sitting in front of the camera. What a good dog. Bernadette wanted to show you her new collar. I hope you can see it. It's pink plaid and it's so springtimey. She got it for Easter from her grandma. Her grandma is my mom, in case you're wondering. And you look so pretty. And it has a matching leash. So cute. So cute. I don't know if it comes across or not how awkward I am on camera. I am much more comfortable talking to a camera than I am another person. <laughs> this is the thumbnail. <laughs> we look like we're about to drop an album or something. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a good one too. It'll be a very good one.